I'm Tom Kisner from TheLink.net, and this is part one of a two-part video series I'm doing on the new UX1000 from Network Equipment Technologies, which is going to be generally available in a couple of weeks toward the end of December here. In this first part, I'm going to take a quick look at the hardware, and in the second part, I'll actually hook it up to my Link environment and do a couple of demonstrations. The UX1000 is physically almost exactly half the size of its big brother, the UX2000, which has been out for over a year now. This particular unit is equipped with a single T1E1 ISDN module, 8 ports of FXS analog, and 8 ports of FXO analog, as well as the Survival Branch Appliance module, or SBA for short, although it can be equipped with two T1E1 uh, ports and up to 24 ports of analog via the expansion modules. It's a uh, 1U 19 inch rack mountable with these dog ear rack mounts which go on the side right here and uh, it's only 12 inches deep so it fits well in the standard telecom closet uh, switch rack. In the front we have these two ethernet ports right here uh, for network connectivity. Uh, the UX1000 has the same advanced networking capabilities as the UX2000 and can function as a full-fledged router uh, and as a session border controller if you wish. It also has two USB ports for the UX itself and two USB ports for the ASM module which in this case is our SBA but that can be the server of your choice. Let me turn it around here. We can see here our T1E1 module. Uh, here's our two analog expansion modules and here's the empty bay for an additional expansion module. Also note the uh, single power supply over here. Now we can take the cover off here, take a quick look inside. Right. Here we can see our T1 module, our uh, empty expansion bay, and our two analog expansion modules. Here's the power supply and it's side cooled via these four fans over here. Also on this riser board right here is our ASM module which uh, again in this case is our survivable branch appliance. Well, that's all I have for this part. Check out part two for a demo of setting it up in Link uh, with the SBA functionality and look for my full write-up on the link.net. Thanks.